All stations, all stations, Mumbai control. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Radio Radio. 5, Victor Tango Zulu, November Victor. Radio 5, Victor Tango Inform, Sierra Delta. Mumbai Control, Victor Tango, Gore from your papa. Radio 5. Radio 5, Victor Tango, November, Kilo, Charlie. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Sierra, Sierra, Mike. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Sierra, Mike, Sierra. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra, Kilo. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Kilo, Alpha, Romeo. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Joliet, Yankee, Oscar. Radio 5, Victor Tango, Oscar Mike Bull. Okay, very good. So, very nice to see everybody is very confident with their radio checks. I really like the sound of each and every call. Uh, we all have our own ways of responding and every way was correct. So really nice to see that. Very good morning and very nice to see you all. So I've been having a lot of activity with respect to discussions and uh, doubts. I've been seeing that everybody is studying and they're discussing doubts. So that's very impressive. Mm. So today we're going to do a lot of practice with uh, situations. We'll be doing first uh, a basic set of situations and afterwards we'll be doing uh, doubt resolution. Okay. Just settle down everyone and just uh, message me your dates right now. And accordingly, we'll be doing your uh, practice sessions beginning right now only. Just message me your exam date and time. Okay. And give me a minute. So many students are talking to me and telling me that, sir, I want to see papers. I want to see question papers now because we feel that we have prepared a level of uh, good uh, knowledge with respect to what to be done, part one, part of the examination. But uh, what we really don't know if we're good or not, right? So I think even when we go to the exam, we'll never be a uh, hundred percent perfect when we give our calls because it comes with experience which requires a lot of days a lot of lot of practice it should be like a day-to-day -day language for you to talk to and then it picks up that doesn't mean that we cannot find uh, or cannot follow the few basic laws that we're required to follow you know with respect to how to give a read back and with respect to how you actually do this make requests and then take decisions and act. So in your papers, uh, in the question papers, firstly, students, you will be getting a few types of questions. Okay. A few moment, uh, moments on the ground, 
a few regulations aspect in your call some kind of weird emergency and multiple emergencies like communication failure also and some system failure also and then there's so many things that could be done you know and then we think that we don't have sufficient knowledge so we cannot take an action that's why we get stuck so today we're going to see basic so i want everybody to be very thorough the reason few of your calls you all already have doubts like talking about what you are doing uh, with respect to whatever notes you have submitted doubts you have submitted over the weekend i think that first you you know uh, actually realize what's happening and then make a call that realization is very important it helps us take better decisions so now i am sharing a question paper and i'm going to take a call sir and as per the timer that person has go, go uh, has to give the uh, resolution to the simulation what is the simulation it's your exam okay so we'll give you a flight plan you will need an access to your charts keep it ready and uh, no cross talking when we are starting uh, the timer when the instructor will say um, you can start transmitting and in the paper you will see the time is also there okay um i would want to share the paper with everyone but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just share the paper here on screen okay and uh, the call the student taking the call you will see the call sign on the question paper and follow that call sign so after that we'll analyze no cross talking everybody will have to also write the call as per the timer and observe many students uh, benefit uh when they are checking others performance to find out what are the mistakes they can avoid or what are the good things that they can also do it doesn't mean that you will uh, disturb anyone when they are giving their calls so it's very important so everybody has to be on mute other than the student taking it um uh, in the exam the only problem that i have seen all students have is break uh, have, having a lot of pressure and making mistakes under pressure so right now also you'll have a lot of uh, pressure so it's okay to make mistakes let's see how big they are or are they going to impact our scores so be it individual call or individual question be the complete paper aggregate will be looking for uh, anywhere between a range of let's see how much we score generally 40 45 50 in your first sessions like these are a good score 40 50% and then second and third time when you practice if you increase the scores to 60 65 70 it's a good sign that's where i think your practice is enough so if you're thinking sir how much live practice do i need to do i'll say at least three three live calls we have to do at least and that should give you good practice but i think even that will be very less for us because like i said the more we talk the better it gets right so i'm not going to take any call related questions right now i will be doing it your earlier questions also after this because everybody is asked to revise everyone especially who's in uh, the feb session so let's see how it goes after that the feedback maybe that feedback will resolve all of the doubts automatically after that whatever doubts remain you can just discuss those okay before we get started how are you, how is everyone and what's happening anybody has anything to update talk ask please go ahead it's your class i'm listening and if there are any special requests you can just message me i'm going to check them now right and this week is going to be tremendously productive for us we have dedicated a lot of time with respect to my time with respect to these lectures so i think it's going to be beneficial if we can make out the most if you all are in sync then you will be very quickly prepared at least to clear definitely part 1 and uh, part 2 based upon how much theory you have read so much parallelly or studied so much parallelly but i think that theory can be done within couple of days also if you are very smart about it so if you can get part 1 out of the way in couple of days today tomorrow 
I think you will be in a very good position to clear your exam with a very good comfort level, not under pressure of leaving it to chance whether I'm going to clear or not. So if I have to go for the exam, I know I'm going to I'm going to clear it. I get it, but I already have a license. So what's the point of me giving the exam again? But uh, I want you all to feel like that. But generally, as students, what happens? We are very doubtful about ourselves because we don't have practice and i'm confident because definitely i have some practice i could say but i think i so that's about it anything you have to share us please go ahead by the time i pull up the paper take the call sign start the timer and start our live practice sessions first Nothing. How are the preparations coming along? All set. Students who have there in the first week, the exams. Under pressure, uh, tremendous pressure. Or is excitement. So you have to understand radio communication failure is a very essential part where uh, a lot of you all will feel challenged. A lot of us are feel, feeling challenged. So we need to be, you know, doing something about it with respect to our mastery. So I'm just going to explain it once. Understand in what forms can uh, radio communication failure come. It could be with respect to there's some uh, problem with the hardware. When I say hardware, it could be the VHF system, VHF communications panel, or the transmitter or the receiver in itself as a unit. So in the exams, if they say receiver failure, now receiver failure is a failure where we can assume that we are still able to transmit wherever we are supposed to transmit. Okay. So we transmit on the existing frequency, hoping that the people who are uh, required to listen to this so that they could be careful about whatever I'm doing as a pilot right now, because a part of my communication is gone. So it increases the risk to safety with respect to mismanagement of the traffic. You can anytime be in the wrong place at the wrong time. If there's no air traffic controller to advise you, they might be advising you, but you're not getting any indications because your receiver has failed so in these in these times what we assume is that we call the station where we are tuned and we make a call to them and we say that we don't know if our transmission is go going out there we are transmitting blind that is something that can be said transmitting blind because we are transmitting blind we are not sure if you are there and to prove that we are unable to talk to anyone, we try to talk, contact all possible ATCs and frequencies, HF, VHF, everyone, and nothing works. So in that situation, sometimes students have to go through this process also. You might be given a position and they say you experience a receiver failure. So what do you do? Do you directly do transmitting blind call or do you try to call different air traffic controllers? Here, because the indication is your receiver fail, you have a receiver failure. Simple words. It means that no matter whom you call, you're not going to get any response. So probably you can start doing a direct transmitting blind call. So here students are always confused. Thinking, sir, when do I do uh, all aircraft, all aircraft call? I've heard that I do that when I have uh, miss, uh, loss of communication with ADC. So you're right about it. Even that happens. But all aircraft, all aircraft, or in other words, all stations, all stations. When you have to transmit to ATC as well as the aircraft, then you can say all stations, all stations. And when you're transmitting to all the aircraft in your vicinity, you make a call sign, all stations, you say it twice. In the manuals, it's mentioned just to be said once. No emphasis is given on repeating twice. But words twice doesn't make a, a big... It is a good thing to say that. And we follow the same procedure 
with respect to calling any station in emergencies all aircrafts or all stations with respect to all stations what are the conditions when you talk to all stations all stations now let's say you have had a uh, an accident but you have landed somewhere in remote area you need help with search and rescue and you have practically crashed but you are safe in the examinations you could be given a simulation like that you have crashed in that case you transmit on 1 to 1 decimal 5 that is the vhf civil aviation emergency frequency here when you transmit on 1 to 1 decimal 5 megahertz people are constantly monitoring that frequency in all different areas of the globe to help with search and rescue so somebody will monitor it listen to it and reply and send help so you have to call out on all stations all stations on 1 to 1 decimal 5 it will be a mayday call mayday 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 all stations all stations on 1 to 1 decimal 5 vector tango alpha lima kilo we have crashed so and so position at so and so nautical miles east west north south all passenger and crew are safe aircraft has suffered structural damage evacuating passengers passengers on passengers on board 120 like that you know requires immediate search and rescue and medical services as well as fire fighting services so something like that can be given to you your call structure with respect to this becomes very realistic it has to be like that so that is where you say all stations all stations on an emergency frequency other than that when you are in air and you have a receiver failure or maybe transmitter failure any kind of rcf radio communication failure and you see that you require some deviation from your route it could be because of weather it could be because of traffic it could be because of some other rules that you break with respect to restricted vertical separation whenever so you require deviation but atc is not there to give you the deviation so first you need to understand what is deviation deviation from your route as a pilot you are allowed to do in just couple of ways what are those ways the standard deviation procedures with respect to weather deviations it could be a uh, a deviation of flight level or 300 feet up or down from your route and 15 nautical miles right or left this is very important for us to understand this is standard aviation procedure with respect to rvsm we have 500 feet that is also a standard aviation procedure but in case you break some rvsm rules of course you don't purposely break rules a system malfunction could result into you being unable to fly in that restricted airspace all different countries have different set of rvsm airspace vertical minimas in india we follow flight level 290 flight level 410 sometimes questions with respect to severe turbulence also come where your ability to maintain rvsm can be affected so now you have to relate your calls all of a sudden with respect to radio communication failure unable rvsm due severe lightning strikes or severe uh, turbulence a severe turbulence could be a made a call so in this case you do a mayday call you require deviation so that you get out of that rvsm airspace and avoid any other uh any more risk to any other aircraft but you have to follow that standard deviation procedure in this case the threat is to all the aircraft around you so the call goes to all aircraft all aircraft in the vicinity what is the frequency that we choose we choose the original frequency where we are supposed to be in this area because other aircrafts would be on that frequency so for you to get get maximum number of receptions in case your transmitter is working even when your transmitter has failed as a pilot it's your job to keep trying to communicate and hoping that it would start you keep transmitting keep transmitting that's when you say if it's not a severe turbulence you're not facing any structural damage then you can say pan 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 all aircraft all aircraft in the vicinity of so and so vector tango alpha lima kilo and now we are deviating we lost contact with atc the deviation procedure 15 nautical miles right or left and then you climb as you are 10 nautical miles out of the airway you climb 500 feet or descend 500 feet and maintain that and and, and just to grab attention all exterior lights are on and you are asking everyone to keep a lookout that you have deviated 
what do you do after that in exams we think only giving this answer is our job your job is to continue flying on the deviated track and try to establish communications you fly as much as you can in on the deviated track then when you know your destination is going to there you announce keep announcing and keep doing what you have to do okay but don't break any rules so you think about what is the safest possible option for your aircraft and you have to take that decision many of your questions where they will say you have bad weather ahead and after that they will mention that your bad weather has extended you decide to continue on your deviated track you should be very confident about such calls so you can fly deviated deviated till the time you are in the vicinity of your aerodrome then let's see if someone's there to help you come down to the aerodrome if the weather is good or not you can just land without getting the weather your receiver has failed so you might have to depend upon your digital atis which might give you some digital indication in the cockpit if your aircraft is equipped so those are the things that you think about you know in the end when you're going to land and you get an rc okay let's say you are doing everything because you are low on fuel rcf and you have to land so making an emergency landing in cases where you cannot communicate but you are compelled to land the first indication you can give to the ground is to alternately switch on and off the landing lights now you are always given standard procedures with respect to aerodromes access is there in the booklet with the jepson charts in the folder so when you see you can try to you know analyze and guide the aircraft to the ils trialis is always there if it's a visual flight rule then of course you'll be doing a visual approach but you'll be checking some references in the rt book 1 and rt book 2 one of the books it's just something that we have gotten out from regulations there they talk about the signals you could give with respect to flashing lights it ground to the pilots and the pilot to the ground so continuously turning on and off landing lights which is there right in front of you like this the side somewhere it indicates to the ground people and anybody looking at you that you're having some sort of emergency then rcf also has a transponder code cock code you can always use that cocking and those four codes that are there and you can always say that in your call it means that at least on transponder people will spot you on the radar system and see that code okay so they have rcf so they'll be setting everything on the airway in such a way that they are also allowing you some reference they would get so you can do that flashing on and off landing lights and then you will land if you are able to land vacate announce to all aircraft in the vicinity and to tower that you are vacating and after that you hold position and wait for help they'll get your follow me then at least under the aircraft they will uh, plug in the headsets and communicate with you once you've stopped and they might tow the aircraft or taxi the aircraft probably they'll tow the aircraft from there and it will be a situation where if you th- imagine everything your job was not just to request for the deviation but your job was to also land the aircraft now some of these times you'll also get calls with respect to diversions so be very confident with respect to i want to go elsewhere this is my route i need request a uh, rerouting clearance so i'm rerouting myself give me clearance and uh, if rt adc is not there then we just say all aircraft all aircraft we fly deviated as in parallel to routes we never join any route on our own so that is something you need to be careful even if there's rcf and you have to deviate for an emergency landing to another aerodrome because this place or destination is closed then you will follow the routes or the charts but you'll fly parallel on the deviated tracks so that is what a pilot would do you know they will not hamper the security of anyone else but it's a very tricky thing to do in such cases the pilot should think that okay will it be better for me to go and land back or something like that so rcf generally can happen any time and it gets resolved also because we have a lot of backup plans we have digital data link communications also so something or the other a signal is always attached to the aircraft with respect to that signal we'll always get some important information okay 
so you have anything nothing so we'll just get started now i think this uh, discussion was very helpful with respect to uh, if you really focus on this if you have this clarity all your calls will be amazing nobody is making noise how is everyone doing are you thorough with uh, your deviation and rca procedures affirm sir victor tango november kilo charlie affirm sir victor tango sir as well lately ma'am very good yeah so we'll just get started mm. yeah make sure you know everything about the flight plan and apply the flight plan okay uh very nicely apply the flight plan in your call and track your routes properly chalo so i'll also go blind will uh, uh simulate an exact experience but make sure everybody is involved and the call signs that i'll take for you the timer will start and the timer would be with respect to whatever there is it is mentioned on the question paper i'll tell you it will be for 1 5 minutes so there'll be total three questions or maybe a few sub questions also so for us the target would be out of 60 marks so that's what you will be seeing on the paper be very careful with the paper because these questions are similar to uh, how the students have been getting in the recent exams so i think it will give a good exposure with what is going currently in the exam question scenario okay where is it okay we'll include the surprise element so everybody would think that they are in the waiting room there'll be a waiting room and the moment i take a call a call sign it means that you are required to come in the exam center the moment i'll upload the question paper i'll say start transmitting and we'll start transmitting everybody will try to come up with their answers follow it write the script everything you should practice you should observe make your notes because your chance has to come if you can practice here like this right now then i think you don't need to do anything else apart from revisions but yeah you can always practice more and more and if you get a good response from a session like this then we can do more of these if we have time you know because i know in the end practice can only make you perfect so you need that room to make errors the exam session cannot be the room to make error but generally it happens the reason we don't clear is because we make some errors so the more you do that because you learn after every mistake so on that note be ready okay
Okay, so Victor Tango. Romeo Sierra Kilo, we will be inviting you to come and give this. And I'm sharing the paper now. I hope everyone can see. And Victor Tango Romeo Sierra Kilo, if you can see, then you can start transmitting Stand. Out. Yeah, tell me. The departure aerodrome is POHS. Is HS. Now you look at the chart and guess. It should be Hyderabad. So look for Hyderabad. Look for the closest match and cross check with the routes. If any of the routes connect these two places, if it's Hyderabad. You can stay on unmute until your uh, simulation is done. So you can stay on unmute. You don't have to go unmute. Hyderabad ground. Victor Tango, Alpha Lima Kilo. Stand to pre flight radio check one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. How do you read? Hyderabad Tower, Victor Tango, Alpha Lima, Kilo, on 122 decimal 5, 5, stand to pre flight radio check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How do you Read. Victor Tango, Alpha Lima Kilo, Hyderabad Tower, read you five. Hyderabad Tower, Victor Tango, Alpha Lima Kilo, Stand 2, IFR 
Hyderabad to Tiruvannathapuram. Passenger on board one two zero. Security check clear. Request startup. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Hyderabad Tower Say again after request I say again request startup Station calling Hyderabad Tower. Say again. Call sign. I say again. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Startup not approved. Pre flight checks incomplete. Hyderabad Tower. Startup not approved. Pre flight checking will go. Victor Tango Alpha Lima. Hello. Go to next question. Hyderabad Tower, Victor Tango, Alpha Lima. Kilo three five DME outbound Hyderabad one four five zero correction zero eight four five flight level. Two five zero whiskey two zero radial one five eight Departed at zero eight two zero
go to next question. मेडे 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 चेन्नई कंट्रोल विक्टर टैंगो अल्फा लीमा किलो ऑन वन वन एट डेसिमल नाइन ओवर होदल मोर एस ट्रांसपोंडर फेल थ्री फाइव सेवन करेक्शन रेडियल थ्री फाइव सेवन वन फाइव जीरो डीएमई आउटबाउंड चेन्नई फ्लाइट लेवल थ्री वन जीरो I'm not getting exact call. Yeah, we'll discuss once the paper is over. Right now, you continue. All aircraft, all aircraft. Victor Tango, Alpha Lima, Kilo. The vicinity of Bodel. Negative contact with Chennai. Radial three five seven. One five zero DME outbound. Flight level three one zero.
not able to continue. ओके वेट ना या जस्ट टाइम अभी हुआ है ना पूरा पूरा टाइम तो देंगे ना अपन ओके सो वेरी नाइस वेरी क्लीन कॉल्स नॉट मेनी मिस्टेक्स सो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू सच सिमुलेशन द सेम थिंग कैन हैपन इन द एग्जाम्स so what separates us from not getting good scores and getting good scores if we have to check it with respect to that then we can always uh, generally we always have a reference to compare with uh, what would be the reference the reference in our case would be the actual ref, uh, the actual calls or the correct calls but when we think about rt it's not always about uh, the same is it matching the reference or not now many people will have that philosophy uh with respect to matching calls so i want to match perfect call i'm like okay but i don't think any two conversations with respect to two pilots could be ditto because they don't mug up anything they say it in real time uh so every time there'll be a variation with respect to that i think it was very exciting to see uh in this uh, first situation now we are flying from hyderabad to trivandrum and if you look at the question paper there is a lot of thing in the question paper with respect to route carefully look at the flight rules it's yankee what does yankee stand for yankee stands for a part of the flight will be done via ifr and after that a part of the flight or rest of the flight will be done via vfr ifr first and then vfr we have to think about it it could be useful in our calls in the route they have mentioned from hyderabad i will be look on the chart i want to look on the chart the first waypoint that i see is lima after that i see bodal that's the route on this route i have to cruise at flight level 330 i hope everyone is able to see the screen and uh, after that up to whiskey 25 over whiskey 25 we have to after whiskey 25 we have to change to flight level 110 it's written after whiskey 25 and flight level 110 we have to go to trivandrum but where do we change it we change it flight level 330 we see trichirappalli over there we change this so over trichirappalli we start taking whiskey 25 we continue with whiskey 25 but we descend to flight level 110 and we cruise to trivandrum flight level 110 this will be the change over to vfr this point because the flight level is also changing and reducing to the max cruise possibly available for vfr in that area alternate we see is kochi kochin wake table type scheduled flight heavy equipment is standard students if you don't have the list of all the codes do let me know i'll be sharing that with you all cell call is given it means aircraft has hf communications time of departure 0815 flight level 310 here there was a change so probably during startup our flight level was changed a note to be made of any discrepancies or any variations that we have airbus 321 and call sign victor angwal for imakilo okay the questions before the questions we see there are some instructions they should not surprise us answer all questions in ascending order use hypothetical data usage of radials and dme distance is recommended for messages that are required to be transferred at a specific time candidate should write the specific time against question number on the answer sheet continue answering till you are told to go to the next question so this is something that we should remember we should continue answering they will check uh, what are we doing if there is an rcf simulated they will see what are you doing till the time so they will want to see you continue over here 
uh, Victor Angu Romeo Sierra Kilo, this is exactly what you were doing. You were continuing. And even though you said that, sir, I don't know what to do next, you still were communicating when there was no communication. So it's a good sign to see that we are in sync. It's only a matter of practice where we get perfect. A use of aviation language and prescribed physiology is mandatory. Very important to use what we have learned so far. So we start with question number one, perform pre-flight checks. Pre-flight checks are very well done, you know. Uh, we tend to take the pre-flight checks from ground. So I'm going to uh, quickly assess and share this. Um, and everybody make a note that uh, how we'll be resolving this and then we'll be taking questions. So Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra Kilo, uh, how was your experience? Like, uh, what do you think about this? How much do you think you'll be scoring out of 60 in your opinion? So mention a percentage. 30, 20, 30. 30, 20, 30. Because I made a lot of mistakes. Can you tell me what mistakes are we talking about? Couple of mistakes. Kya laga aapko? Sale call check me the amount starting. Sale call check, okay. No problem. It happens. Or batao. Fada fad. Kya mistakes hui hain? Pre-flight radio check, we have half the idea and made a made a call here, Joki, transmitting blind one. No problem. I like the efforts. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Or confusion, tha ki flight level, kon si le nahi hai. Hmm. Pass panic ho gayi to samajh mein nahi aara. Hmm. But I like the performance. Mm, of course, we have to uh, improve. Let's see how much marks we get on the mark uh, uh, on the assessment. Let's see how much it goes. Be on the lookout. I hope everybody is there. Uh, I don't know really. Archkal blind chal right class amarana, so I don't really know. I hope everyone's there. You know, studying and thoroughly taking in everything that we're doing right now. Let me check. I hope someone is not in the waiting room. So it was a good call, but uh, actually Hyderabad ground in this chart number seven, uh, we don't see Hyderabad ground. So in such cases, students, in such cases, uh, you should go with what you see in the charts. So chart number seven, Hyderabad only has tower. So Rasik, uh, so with respect to these things, students, uh, Hyderabad uh, tower being there, whatever calls you're going to make to ground on any other airport where we have ground, those all calls will also be made to tower because probably ground is not there in this airport. So with respect to this chart, definitely ground is not there as per the hypothetical chart. So we'll be talking to Hyderabad Tower and do all our calls. So what happened here was, uh, and initially the call was made to ground, and there was no response. Okay, you didn't get any response. So after that, uh, I liked that uh, the call was made to tower afterwards. So it shows that we have situational awareness. So now that we are already aware of this, I think in the exams, we'll be always be careful about okay calling the right ATC. 
Should I say your first experience is you might miss out on calling the right ATC. That's an issue. But it takes just a couple of minutes to cross-check before you take the call. Then I liked how the frequency mentioned was there. Uh, Victor Tango Romeo Sierra Kilo, just send me your uh, log just on the uh, on chat, on WhatsApp chat. I will check it on the go. I want to just compare it. So, yeah. But here, when the call was made to tower, rate of speech was a little too fast. So, make sure the rate of speech is slow. Otherwise, ATC will increase our uh, things like uh, say again, say again, speak slower and all. Afterwards, rate of speech was slow. It is fine. But right now, here it was a little fast on the second part of the call. So for me, it took a lot of time to write down. I was going a little slow. And then I replied a little late. Here, you said request and the call was not heard afterwards. I didn't know what you were asking for. And the call was a little broken. So we remember we cannot take dead air. Uh, dead air is a gap of more than 5 to 10 seconds at a stretch in our live calls. So if I am to suppose uh, make a call, then I have to keep talking up to uh, in a pace where I don't stretch that dead air for more than 5 to 10 seconds. So it will happen initially, but you need to get used to it. In real life, people, um, uh, they do it, you know, they stretch it by using fillers. Uh, uh, to maintain a continuity in the conversation. But at uh, RT, it's not allowed. But we get there with experience. Here I ask, say again after request. I say again, request startup. But here call sign was missing. So that happens initially when we are first time practicing. Ending with our call sign is very important. Ending with call sign. We cannot miss out on this because this is the first call and examiner will be checking. So it's all about these little basic things. Not having dead air, having a continuity, going a little slow. Okay, nothing else. These are basic things that I think we can just improve with a couple of uh, observations like these. Then ATC asked, okay, station confirm who's calling call sign. Uh, call sign was given. And then it is. it was said the startup not approved. Because pre-flight check incomplete. It means the cell call check were not done. And FIC wanted to check on radio. So here good response was given. Startup not approved. Read back was correct. This is one thing that they will check. Pre-flight checking instead of that, we could say uh, startup not approved. Pre-flight check incomplete. A read back. Pre-flight check. Instead of checking, we'll say pre-flight check incomplete. Will go very nicely used and end with your call sign. It was a very good reply. Instead of pre-flight checking, we would say pre-flight check incomplete would become a complete read back. And when you say will go, it means I will do the checks and get back to you. Very well replied. I really like that. Go to the next question. The next question was made to Hyderabad Tower. If you check the question carefully, now, in the first question, definitely I could have done a pre-flight radio check on HF, secondary first and then primary. But I didn't do it. Examiner also said, go to the next question. So examiner was done checking. So although the pre-flight check was not completely done, after VHF, we have to do it on HF, secondary and primary, ideally. In this case, it got stretched into something else. But the experience was complete with respect to communication and making your language good. So you have to be at least good with the language, good with not using uh, dead air and uh, not missing out on ending with a call sign or not calling the wrong ATC generally. Basic things which we figure out. Students who are always confused about which ATC to talk, you need to come up with one ATC right now because you have been given strategies. There will be points where you will be confused. So first try to call the one that you feel should answer by raising the station only. If you don't get response, then call the next and check. So you have to use that technique. You cannot always think about, okay, I don't know which ATC to talk to. Generally, if you have to think about it, then the first ATC to talk to is the one that you're leaving 
in a transition point okay where you think there could be two atcs second opportunity should be given to the atc where you are entering because you are required to tell them that you are leaving from here to there so first them then them if they are not in touch if they get in touch then you tell them that that atc was not in touch so i'm informing you also and from now on i'm going to be traveling through your airspace so you have to take decisions right now. These are basic doubts. If you have had some experience, you first go with your gut. You know the techniques. These are not the points of error. In the exam, you need to know how to handle these. Okay. So here I can say out of 20, uh, as an examiner, I can easily give 12 marks. Because overall, mistakes were there. But a lot of good things were also there. So this tells the examiner that, okay, uh, let's see how it goes. Student knows. It's not like the student doesn't know. But knows that student is under pressure. The examiner will get to know. So next question. 3-5 DME outbound Hyderabad. ATC requests you to give departure message to the appropriate authority. Departure message is a departure report given to the destination radio. Who all didn't remember it? Raise your hand. Digital hands. Okay, I think Rohita, Pritam, Sajal, Prerit, Aditya, Vignesh, Jochna, Sridhar, Zanvi, Kaishma, Gurpreet, Om, Suchita, Usaid, and Nukul. Aap log ho ki nahi ho, yaar. Kab se mein baat kar raho. Kuch pada nahi ho mujhe. Koi padh raha hai, nahi padh raha hai. Trying to make the best of our time. So that, you know, we just focus on the specific points. I think so far we are successful. But yeah, I don't know. When I'm asking for a response, there's no response apart from Nukul. So I'm like, okay, let's just check. Wake up. Hmm, nice to have some noise other than mine. Hmm. Sajal is practicing like a bullet train. I like that. He like, sir, uh, uh, he's ready with his doubts. I like that. Many students are, have got the mojo. I can see, you know, they're in the flow now. And they're doing it thoroughly. And a couple of days also, if they get a couple of minutes also free, they're like, they don't need it. They're like, sir, are calm de do, ko padna hai. give it to me. It's done. I have to remind, okay, do revisions. Kabhi bhi. Revision is very important, so we don't Then I like that, you know, it's amazing. Uh, weekend pe baut hua. I was very happy to see that. And Monday yesterday also, I was like very happy to see the dedication. Sajal is also Sajal to come to the house. Sajal has doubt clear. Sir, I'm coming, where are you? I'm coming, you get me first. First, do it clear. So I like that. That's, that's a very good thing, you know. I, this is exactly what I wanted. That in the end, you have to be taking the leadership. Please don't feel ignored anyone. I have a plan. I know everything is going on good only. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead. So here, departure report uh, was missing. Romeo Sera Kilo, any thoughts? Yes, sir. You didn't departure report. What did you tell the tower about the tower? Tell me about it. How did it happen? Did it revise or did it not come? I don't remember. What did you tell But when you question, what did you understand? 3-5 DMA outbound Hyderabad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. पोजिशन रिपोर्ट वेदर रिपोर्ट पोजीशन रिपोर्ट वेदर रिपोर्ट ओके एयर एयर रिपोर्ट फायर ओके और क्या क्या याद है बताओ एचएफ पे कौन सी रिपोर्ट्स याद है आपको एवरीबॉडी ट्राई टू रिकलेक्ट द सेम 
what all reports you give on hf hf agar ya ya fire boundary pe hai ko hame hf fire report yes fire boundary pe hai to fire report deni hoti hai correct aur ek aur ek aur hota hai na departure report ya departure message so jab bhi one one important element students everybody remember what is a departure report or a departure message anyone who knows the answer just raise your hands in the meantime i'd like to see if anybody knows this okay pritam uh, please uh, tell me what do you think about it so you mean like uh, departure report right yes departure report <coughs> so for departure report we have to uh, make a report to the destination aerodrome uh, we have to do on the radio And destination destination aerodrome you said sorry correction destination uh, radio destination radio okay and we have to give give the information okay. of our departure time and everything like a route estimate aha uh -huh. okay that's it are you done with the answer rhythm if i'm sorry to tell you delta alpha sir okay fine so uh victango rome sera kilo departure report are you aware what is departure report do you remember we had done it in one of the sessions yes sir तो क्या होता है रिवाइज हुआ या मैं बताता हूँ आपको फिर बिकॉज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट हमें पता होना चाहिए वी नीड टू नो दिस एवरी हाफ ऑफ द क्लास डजन नो दिस इट मीन्स यू हैव नॉट बीन रिवाइजिंग और यू हैव नॉट येट कम टू दिस पॉइंट नो प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टाइम टू डू इट और हमें सर खेलो टेल मी इफ यू नो क्या है डिपार्चर रिपोर्ट नहीं तो फिर मैं बताता हूँ और खत्म करते हैं एक्सरसाइज डेस्टिनेशन को uh, uh, मतलब डेस्टिनेशन रेडियो को हमें बताना पड़ता है कि हमने डिपार्चर किया Uh, did you not see its departure report keyword is there or did the keyword not click in your mind yes kya lag raha hai aapko kaise wo click nahi hua aur kaise hum prevent kar sakte hain question theek se nahi pada aur baad mein pata nahi panic ho gayi to समझ में नहीं आया कि आज हाँ ये करने के बाद क्वेश्चन खत्म होने के बाद समझे कि आज हाँ ये है या ये पॉइंट बहुत अच्छा बताया आपने यू हैव पॉइंटेड आउट अ गुड पॉइंट व्हेन यू सेड दैट आफ्टर डूइंग द क्वेश्चन आई रियलाइज द करेक्ट वर्जन सो आई जनरली गिव अ टेक्निक स्टूडेंट्स टू फिक्स दिस इश्यू दिस कैन हैपन विद एनी वन इवन विथ मी ऑल्सो इट कैन हैपन समटाइम्स यू आस्क मी टू टेक अ कॉल and i might give you a call with a mistake so the strategy to remove this mistake is to first make a call in your mind before you give a final call a rough quick call structured call in your mind if when we do that whatever mistake we are going to make we rectify that mistake directly in the mind and when we give a live call we give a good call so try this strategy no problem here no response was told to you a lot of gap was there after that go to next question was told because examiner wanted to check other calls here even when you said departed at you gave you didn't say anything so romi said you know when atc is not responding what are you waiting for like are you waiting for going to the next question 
or what is happening in that much time what is your assumption when atc is not responding aapko kya lag raha hai atc kyun nahi response kar raha at that time i was thinking uh, aage kya bol miss aage kya call hona chahiye so maine baat ko socha hi nahi so when we are thinking then the other person uh, we should keep talking to them at least right we should uh, yeah. in such time we should tell them to stand by and we can get them get back to them after we have figured out what to say so we have to make sure that we respect the chain of communication students keep it very realistic in that case if tower is not responding here so victor tango romeo sir kilo for you specially and students everyone look at the little things that change here the reason there was no response is because we called tower because but the call had to be going gone as a departure reports so in the exam what is the examiner doing i'm showing you okay the examiner is expecting chennai radio as a call sign for you to be making because you are going to chennai fir we are from chennai to chennai only so we have to just call the same fic so that's why no response so here if this happens to you if you get don't get any response for a normal call in the exam be careful that the atc might be simulating rcf because you're calling the wrong atc maybe you're supposed to call hf or maybe you're supposed to call someone else so this is your hint whenever in the exam atc doesn't respond check the atc read the question again and it will click because it eventually clicks after some time oh we have to do this so whenever you make a wrong call to atc or a call to a wrong atc your examiner might not respond it's your job to keep trying and connecting first check oh okay departure report probably you think 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 so don't give them much time 10 to 15 seconds you try to call again even if you're trying to call tower again you do this hyderabad tower victor tango alpha lima kilo like this we try to raise the station again if in 10 seconds there is no response we'll say hyderabad tower victor tango alpha lima kilo like this at least so as a student you are required to do this at least okay in such situations and by then you will realize oh it's looking at the question paper keep looking at the question paper thinking what am i missing or what am i not getting now this question paper is simple to understand but still due to some issues we might miss out on to it nothing else it can happen with everyone so we need to be prepared uh here yep, i was thinking maybe student is confused maybe student doesn't recollect it's a hf i knew as an examiner that student will not do it i tried to hint it by not giving any response it was not checked i like okay go to next question let's try the next call in the next situation we have unable rvsm with rcf so here what do we do we do deviation on own whenever we do deviation on our own it's a pan pan call this is the flow chart and the deviation procedure is turn right or turn left 15 nautical miles at 10 nautical miles climb or descend 500 feet and then you add all exterior or external lights switched on keep a look out this is the exact call whom will you call you'll call on the original frequency where is the situation happening with me i should look at my position i am over bodel over bodel definitely i am on flight level 330 as per the flight plan here although the cruise flight level was 310 and uh, over bodel i'll be with chennai control so good atc choice chennai control was the correct atc to talk it's not a mayday call it's not an imminent threat it's a pan pan call but the pilot can say mayday thinking about the situation but looking at the question uh looking at the 
call didn't realize any other emergency was there but i didn't really understand why made it but generally these calls are pan pan so in the call if you would have put some like, extra information about made it it would have helped me as an atc realize why you are declaring made it in the question i was expecting pan pan but maybe if you have inferred something else then you have to mention why made it mode s instead of s we will say sierra mode sierra transponder failed whenever we say correction uh we use the last correct word said correction hyderabad 1415 so like that we remember it we learnt it couple of days ago okay and over bodhel mode transponder failed flight level uh 15 dme outbound chennai why outbound chennai because we are over bodhel so we are inbound chennai right so ramesh sir kilo why outbound chennai was given here with respect to position assumption if you could share your confusion i can help you resolve it no sir there is no confusion but by mistake we i say outbound yeah yeah hypothetical it's fine not a big issue i just want to understand okay afterwards uh in the exam when we cross talk like sir vohs i don't know or initially i think that was a good thing you can ask before the paper starts sir tell me i don't recollect what it is no harm you know the examiner might say you figure out and like okay i will figure out <laughs> right or if the examiner helps you then you take the help no problem i don't mind that you can if you have any problems you can talk to them no matter what they use. it's your job as a student to ask but after that you should avoid that in the end also you said that uh, as a mekoni ara and all i was okay with it as an examiner they might be okay they might not be okay so we don't say anything we just try to raise the station and just do the rt thing only in that case is nothing else we keep the momentum going till the time our time is not up or they don't ask us to submit the paper we keep trying to raise the station here and there and keep talking and don't be quiet like and keep writing everything so as a pilot you are doing your job you are trying to raise different stations trying to tune into different frequency so here no response was there then you were asked to go to the next question so it's fine in the exams avoid talking to them if there is problem then talk to them i don't mind otherwise avoid talking to them unnecessarily now i i was very happy to see it was an all aircraft call here i think the deviation procedure might not have clicked you you knew you have to do something so what happened why did you not deviate and because you didn't deviate you didn't give a pan pan call i understand so what happened here if you would want to share you were in the right direction i was very happy to see that when you are told to continue you started this so what was this are we deviating or not so i didn't realize that uh, rbs and uh, s trans sierra transponder fail that uh, i thought it is like transmitter failure means rcf both have we uh, what are the conditions students for rvsm unable rvsm equipment uh, yeah yeah equipment which equipment so mode sierra or mode charlie transponder okay and you can take anti collision avoidance system also students these days it is also included uh then altimeter redundancy it means both altimeter should be working automatic altitude holding device should be working and altitude alerting device should be working airborne collision avoidance system also be included in the list so remember unable rvs i am also giving you one chart okay students make a chart and make sure you don't uh, make sure you are perfect with these unable rvsm plus rcf plus rcf is equal to pan 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 all aircraft all aircraft in the 
vicinity frequency i'm writing on original frequency whatever your original frequency is okay and then you do follow standard deviation procedure for enable rvsm okay and the second thing in the right flow chart you will write So the second uh, combination will be bad weather ahead plus RCF. Bad weather ahead plus RCF also will start with pan pan all aircraft in the vicinity on original frequency. And after that, you will follow the standard deviation procedure for weather deviation. Is this making your life simple, students? I'm not sure. Let me know. Kilo, are you thorough with this point? Now, with respect to this point, check your question again and tell me what would be your ideal solution. Comfortably tell me now. You don't have to write the call. It's not working. Give me some time. Have you written it down, students? Enable RVSM. After that, on the right side, bad weather ahead. Plus, RCF equal to what do we get? It's a pan pan call And then it will go to all aircraft, all aircraft. And then follow standard weather deviation procedure. Who is unaware of weather deviation procedure? How many? I can show you once more how to do it. Okay, I'm just zooming in so you know what I have I am writing down there. Everybody knows. Victor Tango Romeo Sera Kilo, do you know? Nothing, sir. So please give me the answer. Abhi ye dono karke aapko kya lag raha hai about the question number three. You want to see the question paper? Wait, I'll show you. Please take a picture of this. At least students in your phone so you could check it. Tell me, so what answer do you have? a call lelo, bina likhe. Now I think everybody can see it. Okay, same. Oh, sorry. sorry. 
सेम सिचुएशन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हाँ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री कैन यू ओपन दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर या या इट्स हियर आई होप एवरीबॉडी कैन सी द क्वेश्चन पेपर yeah i hope everyone gets it question number 3 now whatever i have just shown you with respect to the flow chart made after that what will be the answer victor tango romesh sir kill just give me a call yes yeah whenever you are ready on a phone only simply Are you giving your call? Can I start, sir? Yeah, yeah, of course. Pan, 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 pan. All aircraft, all aircraft, in the vicinity of the border. Whiskey two zero, radial three five seven. One two zero dear me, inbound Chennai. Mode Sierra transponder fail. Aircraft unable to RBSM. Deviating on own. Negative contact with the Chennai ATC. Uh, turning right for uh, one five nautical mile at. Ten nautical mile will climb five zero zero feet and fly parallel on deviated track. Uh, all exterior lights uh, are on. Keep a lookout. Hmm. Very good. Uh, where do you get this call from? You made it right now. Yes, of deviated. Like a uh, uh, procedure that I know, uh, hmm. I know. Can you just talk about the deviation procedure in your own words? How are we, how are we doing it? Yes, I get it. Okay. So a good call. It was a nice call. Uh, students, when we are making a call, it helps when we have continuity when we are speaking. So our rate of speech when we start practicing sometimes it becomes far slow, far slow, far slow. So we need to practice and keep it at one constant pace also. Hmm? So it's not that difficult to be done. We can definitely do it. So we should try to do it. Okay. Any questions, Romi Sarah Kilo? I think observation is done. Performance is done. You tell me how was your experience with this practice session, and how do you feel about the exams right now? So actually, questions. If I don't understand, then call me. Or fast forward, fast me. So 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 fast forward, fast me. और उसमें भी कुछ मिस्टेक हो तो फिर से वो कैसे करेक्ट करें वेल गुड ऑब्जर्वेशन तो अभी आई थिंक आपको काफी एक्सपोजर मिल गया है कि कैसे हमें अवॉइड करना है राइट आई थिंक यू आर ऑलरेडी थिंकिंग अबाउट योर प्लान ऑफ एक्शन यस सर वेरी गुड ओके क्वेश्चंस फॉर द क्लास वन बाय वन प्लीज गो अहेड i will until then uh, give you the assessment of the call now we have discussed everything suchita how was your experience with this call jochna after suchita you tell me uh, overall the calls were good the rate of speech was good i was able to write all the calls and uh, Uh, the only thing uh, that uh, Romeo Sierra Kilo missed was cell call. Uh, if she uh, knew that uh, cell call was there, then all the calls would have been perfect. Uh, 
the first call where she missed a free flight on hf so so the takeaway is uh, to read the flight plan carefully along with the instructions given below and uh, before giving the call frame it first and then give the call okay very nice very nice to see the clarity you are having good jyotsna how do you feel about uh, the situations any points of discussion zanvi next is uh, next are you in line so uh, for first and second question uh, i am i was able to decode the answers but but for third question i was thinking to give the transmitting line call but after the calls were over and the, after the discussion the doubt is clear it will go for enable rvsm and plus the rc okay zulu november victor sir i think she panicked and that's why she made mistakes otherwise she could have done more perfectly okay that is fine how about the questions and solutions that you had in your mind how do you think about the question paper and difficulty level so i think it was relatively easy mm -hmm. it's all the basics we have practiced all of it mm -hmm. so i would have been able to do it i think good good uh with respect to uh students with respect to understanding the question it can happen to the best of us but what will never happen to us when we're thinking about flying as a pilot is that not understanding the situation we all are capable enough i have confidence in all of you all because i've spoken to you i am good in evaluation okay so with respect to that i know your strengths and weaknesses that i personally share with you you should take those words seriously and work on it because you have someone here you can actually you know tell you things and if you could relate with those things and give a feedback whether the observation was correct or not if the observation is correct the strategy will actually help you modify your performance in your favor in the exams so don't think sir is just uh, sweet talking or just being nice to everyone you try to look at positives or you try to look at negatives sometimes i'll be looking at negatives sometimes i'll be looking at positive whatever i am doing you have to take it seriously there are times when you need positive reinforcements times when if positive doesn't work then negative is tried but i believe try to be positively reinforcing uh, reinforce reinforce everything positively generally it keeps us calm and content right it otherwise we keep shouting so with respect to that your observations right now that i'm talking to you should be with respect to your uh idea what you would have done and how do you feel about this paper because now your turn is going to come right so yeah however other student has done or not it's okay we all understand we all have to also look at others but first we should look at ours with respect to how good we are so i want that approach with respect to what would happen to you so we talk about other uh, now that i'm going to take your call signs now we will shift our thinking and we'll talk about uh, how would you be in this situation how would you back out or you get back okay it's a very competitive exam it is like any other exam in the uh, aviation industry that you'll come across every exam is challenging now students who give other exams if you study and give it becomes like a challenge okay my knowledge is being tested my knowledge is being tested in real life when you're doing flight training finishing your finals your final checks you know this is my i'm being tested my knowledge is being tested my handling is being tested handling comes through knowledge only right students so overall you have to be very careful okay because you have one chance and everybody has that equal chance now you think about yourself how can you make it better by yourself if 
finding your mistakes and working on them. That is our ultimate task. To get better, to enjoy this process. But what I've seen, some students, they are always worried and panicky, thinking that, okay, I have not yet got it. So I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. I don't want that negative reinforcement. You might not have got it. It doesn't mean you cannot get it. So we should take it. Okay, I, I'm yet to get it, but I have to enjoy the process. I have to try to get it done. Practice, practice, do whatever I can, whatever I need. You tell me whatever you need. But you keep enjoying this and keep doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Instead of, oh, oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. Nothing. You do your way and you tell what else do you need directly. And we'll do it, you know. So overall, if you have to quickly assess, this is for everyone. Here, I really like the bounce back. Sir, this is Victor Tango Delta Alpha Sierra. Victor Tango Delta Alpha Sierra, stand by. So we will be doing this over here across a little cross talking was there, no response and all. But overall, with respect to the call was made and the language used, I think 12 marks are allocated. On the lower end, you will get 10. On a higher end, you can get 12 to 14 if we have good flow, good rate of speech. 12, I think with respect to good quality, 12 can be given even after such errors are made. On a on a tough side, 10 can be given. Okay. Here, question number two, we are losing a lot of points because we didn't really practice much. We didn't follow RCF. So yeah, we are only going to get about eight to 10 bucks. Uh, departure report was not there, no response. So nothing else was followed. So 12 plus 12, 24. And 24 plus 10, if we see, we get 34. 34 is a good score. And this on a lower end would be 30. So 50... 56, 58% is a good score, students, 54. And for a first paper, it might not seem that to y'all because we are very highly critical of ourselves. I, I also like that generally. But this is a good score. I have seen first-time calls make have such critical errors with respect to basics. Right now, it is nothing. It is just a beginner's error is what I see here. But we have to be careful. There are thousands of types of calls. We have to look at the question and let that correct call come to us out of memory. That is why I say keep looking at the question. You get to know what is the correct situation. How to tackle a question? You focus on keywords. Focus on keywords. The questions, the language are just there to confuse you. Remember everything. Remember all types of reports. Remember all type of distress messages. All type of uh, urgency messages. Remember RVSM RCF calls. Remember weather deviation RCF calls. Remember normal weather deviation calls. Normal RVSM calls. Normal RCF calls. This is how you have to branch out, branch out categories when you're memorizing or remembering calls. Now out of these branches, five to eight branches, three to four are sure to come. So when you look at the question, branch it out into the right basket and then do according to that. Okay, RCF RVSM, pan pan all at weather deviation, or deviation on my own, standard deviation call. Simple. Those calls can get you 21, 20 because no, no response is expected. Okay, think about this. Victor Tango, Delta Alpha Sierra, go ahead. So just confirm uh, pre flights check is the same as the pre flight cell call check. Victor Tango, Delta Alpha Sierra. Students, everybody, please make a note of this question. I don't want anyone to be asking this again after we discuss this now. The intent being that I want you all to be thorough right now. It's a common question I get, which tells me that it's a confusing point. So today we have to remove this confusion. Is pre-flight check same as pre-flight cell call check? Okay. The answer is yes. But you're supposed to do pre-flight cell call check. Only you have only if you have HF on board. So firstly, we understand that there is a common word. There is a common word called pre-flight check. Okay. 
Remember, students, I've spoken this many a times. Simple words. We'll take just a couple of minutes. Pre-flight check comprises of a lot of checks. It checks your control surfaces also, brakes also, warning systems also, and your radio comm system also. For you, in RT exam, which pre-flight checks are important? The radio comm checks. So the radio comm checks will happen as a part of your pre-flight checks. Radio comm checks for you. Now, why have I divided it into? Because I can do it on VHF and I can do it on HF. On VHF, you do a readability check. That 10 second check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 seconds check. Okay. And HF, you do pre flight cell call check. So you do a cell call check only. Whenever the cell call check is done as a pre flight check, it, we call it a pre flight cell call check, which is supposed to be done on secondary HF first and then primary HF. But the VHF readability check is the 10 second check. We do it with ground or tower if ground is not there. You have to do both checks. First you do VHF, then you do HF in this question. Because the common term is given to you, pre-flight check. And in the question paper, you see other information, your cell call code is also given to you. So is everybody thorough? And Victor Tango Delta Alpha Sierra, does this answer your question in detail? I hope you also remember this point and everybody else. I want you all to be thorough with this point. I'm sorry, Victor Tango Delta Alpha Sierra. I don't want that question to ever come. Yeah, of course, pre-flight check is a part of pre-flight checks. Yeah, like this, we have to say in our answers, if anybody ever asked this question to us. So, Romeo Sera Kilo, how much, how do you think about your scores? Happy with your scores for your experience? Yes, yeah, so this is my first call. So, I was nervous, but I'll try for next time. 56.66, 57%. Very good. I think if we could do a couple of tweaks, like we end with a call sign, we call the right ADC. I think easily you can get into the range of 65 to 70, which is a very good score. So I want you to just make sure you work on your areas of improvement. Okay. Everybody be aware of these things. Yeah. And work on it. The next time when Romeo Seracilo, you're giving calls, these mistakes should not repeat. That should be your ultimate goal. Nothing else. I don't mind if you get 40 or 50 or 30. It doesn't matter. We Our next goal for you would be to not repeat the same mistakes. Is that understood? Okay, sir. Now, the benefit would be that when you will not repeat those mistakes, your score will automatically increase and will discover new mistakes. That's it. Okay, any, confu any points of confusion? Any questions for me before we go on our break? 1 to 1.30 is our break. After 1.30, let's come back. And a couple of practices and doubt resolutions need to be done. Yeah, Nukul, tell me. So in question third, we are in Bodel. So, uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Please okay, carry on. Okay. So, over Bodel, uh, we need to give we need, we have to give a call but uh, we have a flight rule yankee so here uh, we have we need to follow the ifr flight rule so can we say ifr uh, chennai to trivandrum for a position give the, uh, giving while giving position yeah uh, you can mention it like this, that uh, till Tirichirapalli, I am going IFR. Thereafter, I am going VFR. So it's not just from Chennai to Tirichirapalli. I think from Hyderabad to Tirichirapalli, you are going VF, IFR. IFR. And from Tirichirapalli to Trivandrum, you are going VFR. VFR. So you are saying the right thing. You have to report it, but the way you report it should be correct. So you will report it like this. 
చెన్నై రేడియో విక్టర్ డాంగ్ వాల్ ఫలే మా కిలో డిపార్చర్ రిపోర్ట్ చెన్నై రేడియో డిప్ కరెక్షన్ డిపార్చర్ రిపోర్ట్ విక్టర్ డాంగ్ వాల్ ఫలే మా కిలో డిపార్టెడ్ హైదరాబాద్ జీరో ఎయిట్ వన్ ఫైవ్ uh what was our position was it uh, 40 dme outbound something like that one second okay friends 35 dme inbound hyderabad atc request you to give departure message here the uh, correction outbound hyderabad yeah so i'll start with the call again um uh, chennai radio victor tango alpha lima kilo departure report victor tango alpha lima kilo departed hyderabad Zero eight one five three five DME outbound Hyderabad passing flight level one five zero four flight level three three zero IFR Hyderabad to Trivandrum flight uh, correction IFR Hyderabad to Trichirapalli flight level three three zero thereafter VFR to Trivandrum. flight level 110 estimating lima 0825 bodel 0845 chennai 0900 trichirappalli 0920 Madurai 09045 Trivandrum 09055 Radial 15835DME outbound Hyderabad So this is how I have given the departure message to my radio in this case same radio departure and destination otherwise it goes to destination radio and what helped me give the call was i was just looking at the flight plan and my route that's it in the exam you have to look at your flight plan that is the question paper top part your route and keep writing the call if you include include these three elements and then give your call you will never go wrong with your calls so this is the learning for the day students the next time when you are giving any live call or anyone is practicing any live call you should be in a position where you have your paper all the on screen or some other way or if you don't have multiple gadgets when you get question paper you can say give me 2 minutes and you write the paper quickly on a piece of paper in your notebook then use that as a hard copy and then you look at that and the other device you could just practice so you i need your charts i need your question paper and then i want you to take calls and you see the wonders of having everything right in front of you and then doing the call you will never go wrong so that is where you learn complete situational awareness nokul is your question answered of oh, victor tango november kilo chali student it was a good example to see how to report flight travel flight rules yanki or zulu because if it's given to you you need to be comfortable with speaking about the elements as per the flight plan everybody practice okay i'll take another call sign and uh, we'll see when we get to that first we'll be resolving a few questions i'll see you after the lunch break students please come back and uh, let's see if you have anything to discuss any questions that are keeping you exam ready make sure you discuss those also after the session make it quick okay we're going to make every word i say count and every word you listen count so let's make that happen i'll see everyone after the break One three three zero. All right. Bye, everyone.
Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, very nice to see everyone on time. Okay. Do we have any questions before we go ahead? We'll make it quick now. I think everybody is aware. Uh, what are we going to do and how it's going to happen? So, one by one, please go ahead with your questions. First, we had to resolve your doubts, right? Pritam, anything on your mind? Sajal, you have a few questions on your mind. See, what are those you would like to discuss? I think, Rohita, you have something on your mind. Yes, sir. Sir, in chart number four, mm -hmm. my destination is Jamshedpur. Mm -hmm. And I am on Alpha 7901, flight level 140, and 120 nautical miles to Jamshedpur. So, according to me, I'll contact Nagpur Control. Is it right? Sajal, uh, I'm on chart number four. Can help me relocate. Sir, Your chart. departure, arrival, what is it? Sir, Everybody eyes on chart four. Chart four destination is Jamshedpur. And the route is Alpha 7901. I'm going from Bhopal? Yes, sir. Or Mumbai? Sir, I'm going from Mumbai. Departure, Mumbai? Yes, sir. Departure is Mumbai and destination is Jamshedpur. And uh, what yeah, and what uh, route are you taking? Whiskey 10 and Alpha 7901, is it? 10 North and Alpha 7901. Yeah. So, so tell me what's the confusion? Sir, my flight level is 140 and I am 120 nautical miles to Jamshedpur. Mm -hmm. So which ATC will I contact? Is it Nagpur control? Flight level 170, right? 140. See, if you carefully see, Nagpur control shares the airspace from flight level 200 to flight level 255. Mm -hmm. And Varnasi control has the upper flight level. Below that, okay, below that, if you carefully see a clear uh, control area is not mentioned to you. So here, um, our assumption would be that um, we should check Jamshedpur has tower, there's Kolkata. Mm, and then we should check Nagpur again. And we have Bhuvaneshwar as well, close to us. But we are, we are going on this route. So first, first uh, guess would be that we'd be talking to Nagpur control in this case. And what is uh, your DME? 120, right? Jamshedpur, you're saying? Yes, sir. 120. Yeah. So 120, we can assume we are still within the control and we are somewhere uh, over Ibuda, probably. Students, if you are not looking, then please look. Chart number four. Okay. Looks like a simple chart. Uh, we are 120 DME Jamshedpur. This is Jamshedpur. And we are flying from Mumbai. And we are going via Bhopal. 
So over here, flight level one seven zero. Sir, flight level four zero. Yeah, sorry, flight level one four zero. And one two zero DM inbound Jamshedpur. We are on Alpha seven nine zero. So probably we are somewhere between Ibuda and Arivo. So whom will the call go to? In this case, uh, see Jamshedpur is coming under Kolkata control. So chances are you should try to connect to Kolkata control also. Here we see there is Varanasi control and Nagpur control. The closer is Nagpur control, but then still, if Nagpur control doesn't have, then who has it? Then probably I would say that by the time we are over Arivo, I think Jamshedpur will come under Kolkata control because this is the circle here. So probably I would also find an opportunity to try to call, call, talk to Kolkata control. If not, then Nagpur control also makes sense and Varanasi control also makes sense. But Varanasi control will be not a better choice compared to Nagpur because Nagpur is closer. But here the airspace, generally one of these people will be uh, in charge of the major airspace, which could be Varanasi control. So with respect to that, if I am careful looking at the chart, this is Varanasi ACC. It's just that in this area, a small part has been given to Nagpur. Probably that part is taking care of the major Nagpur airspace from where flights are coming. And they are occupying flight level 200 to flight level 250. And then that area where Nagpur is having this, the upper part is also of Varanasi. In this case, what about that which is lower than flight level 200? Nagpur control is only till flight level 200. We're looking at this fraction right now. So I think you will be talking to Varanasi control here. Why? Because major control is Varanasi only. So every other airspace, uh, part of the airspace, which is not a part of any other control, will be Varanasi control. And by the time you are over Arivo, and you leave this control area, you can stay in touch with uh, Varanasi control and then change over to Kolkata control with respect to Jamshedpur. So you will get that kind of reception. Okay. So I think I'll go with Varanasi control with respect to this conclusion now, Sajal. So how do you feel about it? Yes, sir. Okay. Hana, we have to be very careful students. We are blocked by what we see. But then if we keep looking, thinking, then we realize that here it's Varanasi control. So everything else will be under Varanasi control only. Okay. Uh, but even if you call Nagpur control, you don't get any response. Someone will say, but Nagpur control is only from flight level 200 to 255. You are 140. Why are you calling Nagpur control? Somebody will say that. And of course, now it makes sense because, yeah, otherwise we are in which control? We are in Varanasi control. So let's talk to Varanasi control. Think about it. Good questions. Everybody is thorough with this point. Aditya, how is it going on for you? No noise. Aditya, Sridhar, Kashma, how is it going on? Om. It is good. Sir is not there, right? Affirm sir, Victor Tango informed Shara Delta. Ah, you are not renamed yourself. I could not recognize. Sorry it. sir. Good. No, it's okay. Affirm sir. Affirm sir, Victor Tango Shara Max Shara. Okay. Any more questions? Think about it, Sajid. You have more questions? Yes sir. Sir, when is that during taxi? ADC calls us and says smoke is coming out from tail section of your aircraft. Take action. You, what is the doubt here? Sir, what should be the call? What do you think should be the call? Students, think about it. Smoke in the tail section, ATC informs you. You cannot visually see it, of course. What will you do in this case, students? Pan, pan, mayday, two things come to our mind. Of course, if there is smoke, it could be that there could be chances of fire also. So I would go ahead with pan, pan and halting wherever I am, stopping that and in, in, requesting for firefighting services and more visual inspection to describe how exactly the fire looks like. And we should see if we have any fire extinguishing procedures. Uh, 
all engines are fitted with, fitted with automatic fire extinguishing procedures. So I'm sure in the tail where we have auxiliary power unit, APU, which also has a mechanism similar to engine, but it doesn't just give us, it doesn't give us thrust, but it gives us a rotary drive that drives the auxiliary power system of the aircraft. So maybe the fire is coming from there. Maybe the fire is coming from cargo. We don't know because those two are the hotspots in your tail section of the aircraft. Chances where fire could happen, it could be the APU. Or it could be the cargo hold, the rear cargo hold, where some cargo, some lithium-ion battery must have burst. Right? Or maybe there's some, probably hazardous material is what you're carrying. So you need to land the aircraft if you are in air. Immediate landing and firefighting services and immediate disembarkment of the passengers. Instructions related to evacuation of the passengers and disembarkment. You need someone to tell you which gate should you choose if they have visual reference to your aircraft. Where you, If you have to evacuate the passengers through escape slides. So here, if you are on ground, uh, probably if you are on taxiway, then you'll say pan, 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 uh, ground or tower. Who depends where we are. If we have ground, then we'll talk to ground. Then Mumbai ground end of one, two, three, or correction. Mumbai ground, Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. On taxi with Charlie. Smoke has been reported from tail section. Request further visual, visual inspection. Aircraft holding position, turning off engines. Request instructions to disembark passengers. Passenger on board one, two, zero and firefighting services and emergency medical services. So you think about this call and if you cannot structure it in the first go, even if you think about it in the mind, you know, okay, why am I doing this? If there's smoke, there could be fire. What should I do? Should I risk it with the passengers or should I let the passengers go? And of course, I have to shut down the engines also because uh, engines can also catch fire. Wings are loaded with fuel. So you have to, and you need more help with respect to that extinguishing of the fire. Or maybe you can see initiating fire extinguishing procedures. But you, if something that you cannot see and if you don't know if there is any procedure, then just request for that. I would raise a pad pad call. So what would you all do? Sajal, what was your thought? Why were you thinking it's a doubt question and not an obvious situation? Sir, I thought I should say pan pan or not because we are on the ground. Of course, why would you not want to raise alarm? If there is smoke, there could be fire. Mm -hmm. On ground also, it could just take a few seconds and everything could go. Yeah. So you should always go towards the concern side. You will not be fined if you take a concern out of actual concern. Even if later on it's not a pan pan, you still were thinking in the right mindset. But it is definitely a pan pan. Here, how do you make a decision to take a pan pan or not? Think about it. What if my decision to not take pan pan is wrong? When the, the, the when the incident is subject to inquiry, they will say, why did you not raise pan pan? They'll be like, I didn't think it was important. They'll be like a smoke coming, an ATC reporting smoke. You think it's not important? Then what is ATC here for? They'll be thinking like that. Somebody can talk to us like this. I'll be like, uh, but I was not taught. We're like, do you need thinking about it? So they'll be like, okay, so you can do the simulation emergency, ke sikhayenge, wo hi bas aapko, kya life. Mein? So we understand, okay, now, now we get what they're looking for in an answer. With respect to that, I'll go with pan pan, of course. This, there's no wrong here. If they say it's not a pan pan call, you'll be like, okay, sir, I thought smoke hai, fire ho sakti hai, why take the risk? And he'll be like, yeah, good thinking. I'm giving you points in your favor. Simple. Why not? Right? Thanks. So always go towards the side of where increased safety is guaranteed if you are confused. Think about it logically. Usaid, tell me. Sir, we had a fire lighting call before. Sir, we had a fire made. If there is a fire, then it is made. And sir, smoke is a pen pen. Smoke, haan. smoke is a predecessor of fire. It is taken as seriously. Cockpit smoke, you can say made also. But uh, if you if you have smoke, it means there's fire somewhere else. Cockpit smoke also can be considered as made. But this smoke, you don't know if the internals are on fire. Pan pan is must. 
and because you are requesting for more visual inspection report from ATC, they will tell you something and probably you can increase it to Mayday so that you can evacuate your passengers quickly. If you suspect there is a fire, then definitely you can increase it to Mayday anytime. Cockpit smoke, generally you can say uh, Mayday because it could be poisonous also and pilots could, you know, faint and it could result into a bigger fire also, you never know. So then you can shift it to Mayday. Here, initially the call sticks to our mind is pan pan. Somebody thinking, sir, smoke is high. I want to give Mayday because I'm suspecting fire. I'll be like, give Mayday. You deserve. If you're thinking, more attention will come to you and it will increase your safety. So you can make a Mayday there. So the definitions of Mayday and urgency tell us that a conditional situation that affects the safety that requires immediate assistance. So if there's a fire, you need immediate assistance because if that fire can be put off by someone quickly, then it will be a great deal compared to it increasing into and burning the whole aircraft. Even though if you can evacuate the passengers, it is very rare that f f uh, fires can be, you know, extinguished so high up on the tail of the aircraft. So in this case, I think I'll take the... Uh, L1 door for escape if my fire exhaust or APU exhaust is on that side. APU exhaust can be on the left or the right or the complete straight also. If I'm suspecting it's APU, they have said tails, I'll suspect APU. Or if I'm suspecting rear cargo, then definitely I have to evacuate everyone. So not from the rear door, from the front door on the opposite side. Cargo is on the left, then I'll take the right first right door, which will be the furthest away. Or maybe if ATC is there, I'll request ATC to give me instructions to evacuate passengers, which door to select. And then quickly guide your cabin crew to ask everyone to, one by one, come in from that only you should jump. Which emergency door should be open, which not should be open, should also be guided, right? Logically. If they go towards the emergency wing where the fire is near the rear cabin, it will be more dangerous. So we have to manage that in a way that you know which is the safest decision so that evacuation is also perfect. In exams, evacuation procedures are not generally discussed. But I think it can happen to, uh, we have to be careful about it and take calls. So yeah, Mayday also in some situation will make sense. Okay, any questions? Think about it. Sajal, what's on your mind? Zanvi, Zutsna, Nakul, any questions? Pritam, Rani, do you have any questions? I cannot see a hand, so you can just simply start talking, okay? No questions? Sir, actually, I solved one question paper, so I want you to check that. No, I am talking about any other doubts. Papers and all students, I will be considering uh, it after I see your live calls in class and do a feedback. Mm -hmm. For that, for me to be giving you any feedback with respect to written calls might not make sense. So I would say you'll put it as doubts and questions until then. Because uh, I think the first experience with respect to whatever calls I want to judge would be with respect to after we get our individual feedback. So, Sajil, you are also in line. You'll get to practice. Only after that, I'll expect you all to give any good calls from my end also. So, students who are there, you know, have your dates. So, everybody is going to be doing it. And I'm going to increase the pace so that we do it fast. 15-minute mock, 15-minute discussion. 15-minute mock, 15-minute discussion. If you can pull off two also in this quick time, then it shows that others can also practice. So, Sajjan, hold on to that, you know. Other than that, see if you have any specific questions. How much marks are you giving and all? You can just consider all that or you can apply whatever you are learning in these sessions in your calls and try to correct them. Okay, students, that's all I can say right now. Let's hope to practice more. 
सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन पेपर्स सजल एनीथिंग फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉल यू वांट टू डिस्कस यू कैन से ओके आई हैव दिस कॉल और दैट कॉल एनीथिंग इन डाउट नेगेटिव या सो आई थिंक यू मस्ट हैव डन वेल देन इन दैट पेपर राइट सो हाउ मच आर यू गिविंग योरसेल्फ इन दैट पेपर 80 70 have you analyzed yes sir around 70 very nice i'm sure when i correct there will be many areas of improvement or maybe we'll find perfection but let's see should i would advise that you all also revise regularly it's very important if you think you have some more extra time then please revise everything learned and please whatever calls and everything you all want to practice you should try to do it here when i'm giving you the chance why only couple of students asking you know or say then only uh, sajal what's happening with others no questions everybody is an expert right now are we ready to take that call So, just so if you have given yourself seventy, then you must have realized mistakes worth thirty. So, ha- why don't you give yourself those uh, marks and figure out the best solution? At least that will be one more thing you could practice with respect to that test. Right. So, if you have deducted any points, like thirty points, like a lot of, I think there will be errors in almost all calls. so with respect to that if you know then this is a really good exercise you know you could make another draft and those two you could keep for discussions or maybe for your own comparison and that would really be a good exercise you know and whenever i'm checking you know after your calls are done we would be able to see the differences in your own assessment your own performance as yes, i'll definitely add a few pointers right so students i'm hoping that with each of you all i'm hoping that we'll get to do an individual also a uh, session but you have to keep me in the loop and keep telling me that you're looking for one individual session because we don't want to pressurize uh, forcing because some people get nervous in a mock not everybody wants to do it so anyone who has their exams if we have time we'll do it but you feel free to let me know sir i also want one one on one whatever we are planning to discuss okay Okay, I'm just checking. Hmm. Priyam is not attending lectures. Sure. So we'll start uh, with the test. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Part two is sending. Tell me, sir. My part two is sending, sir. Why? पार्ट वन भी बाकी है पार्ट टू भी बाकी है तो कोई प्रैक्टिस नहीं हुआ है अभी तक सबका होगा यू हैव टू बी लिटिल फास्ट दो बट या प्रीतम आई यू रेडी डू यू थिंक यू कैन टेक कॉल्स कम्स आई कैन ट्राई आई थिंक मॉडल टाइप पर से ओके ओके Okay, chill. I'll take a call sign, and we'll check on the timer, and we'll quickly do it. Let's see if we are learning from our previous experiences. Let's see. Let's put ourselves in the situation, and try to see. Okay, what could go wrong, you know, or what could go right, or what could be done better. Okay, and make sure that you continue answering until told to go to the next question. remember the basic rules
and try to be uh try to take hints and try to uh, definitely do this what do we say read the call signs and location indicators properly students you have been given a list of location indicators and i think that you should try to read it every now and then that's all you know doesn't hurt because it tends to be retained in your memory and you don't have to do search work in the examination or you could mark a few major cities in the list and the new list i've shared there are a few international location indicators also you can do a little bit of your own research and get a list of that also added to your notes okay so i'm going to share the screen I'll take a name and that person will start. And remember, you will send me your log. Okay. Log as in a picture of your calls when the timer is done or you are asked to submit your paper. Okay, one second. And no cross talking. Okay. Once we say the timer has started. Okay. Uh, wait, huh? this is not the paper. I'll show you again. Round paper. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got the right paper now. Any guesses who's gonna, who's it gonna be? Kis kis ko lag raha hai, ho sakte hai. Raise your hands. Itni shant class rakho ge na, main kal se dikhunga nahi aapko. I'd be sleeping somewhere, students. Okay. Nobody thinks it's gonna be them. I like that attitude, na. Okay. No problem. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Let's start transmitting. I'm also going blind. Everyone go blind, please. Let's experience a realistic situation. And the station has to give paper is Victor Dango, Sarah, Juliet, Lima. Victor Dango, Sarah, Juliet, Lima. Now you can start transmitting. And you can stay on unmute for the entirety of your session. I want everybody to be crystal clean with our calls. Think about giving it to avoid mistakes. Look for perfection. Time is always our asset. And I think I have to stop share. Now you can see the paper, I guess. Yeah. So I this is the paper. Okay. And you can start transmitting now. I think there was some glitch. So we are starting the timer now. Victor Tango, Sierra, Juliet, Lima. You have to do this. Okay, sir. Pada tha na kab se tumhare call sign le raha hu. Yes, sir. Haan, but bolay nahi sir paper nahi mil raha. Koi aur mere ko message kare sir paper nahi dikh raha. Aap sochoge sir kya exam de rahe? Itni kadi pariksha, agni pariksha ho rahi hai ye to. Sir, bina flight plan ke itna mushkil kam. Okay, chalo. Jokes about your timer has begun, okay? People can make their own copies of this paper.
ट्रांसमिटिंग आंसर वन नागपुर ग्राउंड विक्टर टैंगो विक्टर चार्ली विस्की स्टैंड टू पीओबी वन टू जीरो सिक्योरिटी चेक क्लियर इंफॉर्मेशन डेल्टा वुड लाइक टू कैरी आउट आईलेस कैलिब्रेशन बिफोर सेटिंग कोर्स टू डेस्टिनेशन रिक्वेस्ट स्टार्टअप विक्टर टैंगो विक्टर चार्ली विस्की नागपुर ग्राउंड स्टार्टअप नॉट अप्रूव्ड टो बार स्टिल अटैच्ड स्टार्टअप नॉट approved to bar still attached will remove and call again victor tango victor chali whiskey nagpur ground Victor Tango, Victor Charlie Whiskey, stand two. Two bar, remove. Request, start up. Go to next question. चेन्नई रेडियो डिसरिगार्ड Okay, you change the box to Victor Victor Zulu. Hmm. Right, sir. नागपुर कंट्रोल विक्टर टैंगो विक्टर चार्ली विस्की ओवर विशाखापट्टनम 
जीरो फाइव डी एम ई इन बाउंड फ्लाइट लेवल जीरो नाइनर जीरो नवम्बर एट सेवन सेवन टाइम वन फाइव टू जीरो कैंसिलिंग माई वी एफ आर फ्लाइट चेंजिंग टू आई एफ आर रिक्वेस्ट क्लाइम टू फ्लाइट लेवल टू नाइनर जीरो रिक्वेस्ट permission Victor Tango Victor Charlie Whiskey Nagpur control contact appropriate authority roger roger victor tango victor charlie whiskey visakhapatnam tar Victor Tango, Victor Charlie Whiskey, over, Vishaka Patnam, zero five DME, inbound, flight level zero nine zero, November eight seven seven, time one five two zero, cancelling, VFR, operations. changing to ifr request climb to flight level 290 request permission go to next question Sir, is it Guras or something else? You check the chart. Sir, in this chart, Gura says no link with our route. Take your call. Okay. Sir, so I have to assume that I am landing at Chennai for this question. Okay, so students, ah, uh, what to do here? Ah, uh, in this case, now we are stuck. So in the exams, ah, uh, probably you should try to follow with the question paper. If they are giving you a position with respect to the paper, uh, try to position yourself and make a call accordingly. 
uh, here what was happening was Zopox was not on the route. And then the next question, we are over Guras and Guras is very close to Chennai. So if our destination is Kolkata, our alternate is also something else. Why are we going to Chennai? So possibly, chances are that the examiner in this case might give you some emergency deviation which would lead you to Chennai. Now it is very difficult to uh, guess this with respect to this paper because that situation was not simulated at all. Why was that situation not simulated? Uh, because uh, that, uh, what do we say? Or uh, what do we say? That situation didn't arise only that the deviation was given. So here, chances are that you will be told to change your position if the examiner realizes that it might be tricky for you. Or the examiner might want to say, what would you do now? Let's see. So in this case, if this happens, then instead of saying, sir, it has no link, it has no connection and all, doesn't sound too good. You just take the call. Probably you assume, benefit of doubt, that somebody was asking me to go to Chennai and Chennai is closed. What would I do? But it is very unlikely. So you will end up getting stuck in that situation. No matter what you try, you will be stuck like, okay, it will not make sense. But ideally, if it does, try to take the call. Of course, there will be a mistake. If there is a mistake, try to talk. But here, I think with respect to this situation, we had to simulate that. If the simulation was not done, the question was uh, not clear for the student. But otherwise, a uh, couple of things, Sajjan. So if this kind of experience happens with you, it will not be a nice experience to have. But other than that, if we access that uh, the calls, you cannot say POB. You have to say passenger on board. And uh, call was good, but I think your rate of speech is a little too fast. Little too fast. Please send me a log for the first two calls. I liked how your calls were, but I need consistency. So this is what your live practice is all about. Certain parts of the call, you have good authority. Certain parts of the call, you're very slow. We need to have consistency there. So I say, let's not go fast because when we are slow, then it sounds too slow. The two benefits of not going fast. Uh, carry out ILS calibration. So Sajil, uh, we have to focus that the why aspect of a call is highlighted more in the call. Okay. We should know what we are doing. The why, why are we calling should be highlighted first. And then the other information with respect to position can be added. Or a few points and then why should be emphasized more. Okay. So with respect to that, I think you focus on speaking about the why more, more nicely. And then uh, talk about other things. That uh, your ILS calibration, I was hoping you would request for a sector. Because uh, we have given you as an added pointer that sector flying can be done for ILS VLR, ca VR calibration also. So after startup, I'd like to do sector flying to calibrate my ILS system before I set course. So your call structure was in the right place. Uh, okay, I'm not showing this. So your call structure was in the right place. I like that. But now we are looking for expertise and we're looking at touch that is so good that it sounds yeah this is a very good call so with respect to that i think where you're very close you're tussling with it you'll get there if you focus on these feedback that i'm giving you now you just thought that oh zopox is not on my route you could have just done it i'm on zopox i want to go there maybe i had deviated maybe there was bad weather why are they not talking to me Something is a problem. I know that something is a problem that can be fixed, uh, grasped by any student. But then what do we do in the examination in that case? It becomes tricky. So firstly, request sector. And this rate of speech a little too fast. Request startup. Uh, startup was not approved. Tobar still attached. So good read back. Here, I think the read back is very mechanical. It could be a little more natural also. So we come at this point where we know theoretically we are giving every correct thing. Then the thing that could separate us from 
giving a good simulation or clearing the uh, viva part one experience would be to make it uh, you know not very mechanical so startup not approved uh, toba is still attached we'll get the toba remote we'll call again for startup uh, holding position stand to uh, estimated time of departure 1440 Victor Tango, Charlie, correction, Victor Tango, Victor Charlie, Vic Whiskey, something like that. So I sound nice and have a constant rate of speech, although I have gaps, but I don't want to sound too realistic pilot way also. I don't want to sound too much of a student who is just mugged up things. So I have to have continuity, continue, continuation, like how you talk to me students, like Sajal is discussing a doubt. He will talk at his natural pace. When I'm talking to you right now, I'm also talking at a natural pace. So when I know I have to give you something in dictation, I have to go slow. But generally, you know, sometimes I'm very fast. Sometimes I'm in a good space between slow and fast. It's because it is very important for me to be able to be speaking in a way that you can grasp it or you can write it. Sometimes when we practice practice on our own and when we are not doing live, we tend to do a little fast. So that is what is happening. So Sajal is practicing a lot. But first, the realistic practice. Now, this should overrule everything else. Whatever you are learning here should go into your practice now. Whatever papers you are solving and everything. So, but read back, structure-wise was correct. We'll call again. Victor Tango, Charlie, uh, correction. Victor Tango, Victor, Charlie, Whiskey. Nice call sign set. Good read back. But this time of 10 seconds was not given for the ATC to speak. ATC wanted to talk. It is would have given you some change of flight level or something. It is he wanted to really talk here. Maybe this is where the simulation would have come. But the call was made too quick. At least give 10 seconds to the ATC to reply. Okay. Right, sir. Yeah. Everybody remember 10 seconds need to be given. Then call was given. Toba re up, uh, removed. Request startup. Here also sector was missing. I thought it will click that sector flying could kick in ILS calibration. Although tough paper, we can say. Not an easy paper. Go to next question. Next question was given. Simulation was avoided completely with respect to that. Because five minutes were done and the examiner wanted to see you. Some time was left, but it was good. Question number two, Chennai radio disregard. Uh, the position was very confusing. So examiner just said, okay, think about it. Why Zag? So examiner helped you in real time. It's a good sign. You have done something good in the first call that the examiner is helping you. It could be one off case. Okay. They might not do it for every student. They're doing it for you. So you should be happy that you have earned it. And then, okay, why Zag? Uh, Vishaka Patnam, sorry. So Nagpur control. Actually, here, if you see on the bottom of the chart, it's written flights to contact Chennai control. So here, generally in this area, first try would be Chen Chennai control always. Nagpur control is getting over at Mumbai, Kolkata, FIR boundary only. If you look at the chart, then they are coincident with each other. See here, blue and green. So over here, Vishagapatnam, I can say I'm near Chennai control because this part here says flights to contact Chennai control. So the first call didn't go answered because it was made to the ATC, which was not matching. Uh, you tried to make call on radio because you thought it's an FIR report, which was a good thing. I'm very happy to see that. But you thought that my FIR report I the FIR route pay bini It was good otherwise. You were thinking in the right direction when you thought about the box. You could have given a FIR report like that. Kolkata, Chennai and going Chennai. Only if somebody had given you a hint that you're diverted to Chennai, then you would have fixed it. So examiner could have told you that uh, assume question number one, you're diverted to Chennai. Like that. So you'll be like, startup ke pehle kaun divert karta? Koi nahi divert karta. Nobody's going to divert you before startup. Only. What's the point of taking off? Don't take off only, right? So they would have diverted. But uh, yeah. And let's finish this. 0.5 DME inbound, okay. Here also, the why aspect, why are you calling was not very evident. Otherwise, structure-wise, it was a good call. But it should sound like, okay, I understand the purpose. 
that was not happening i as a as an examiner would want you to do that so that and this cancelling my wf vfr to changing to ifr i remember in couple of sessions i might have given you all how to change here instead of cancelling my vfr flight don't say that just say changing to ifr request climb to flight level 290 whenever you asking climb where is your top of climb gone students we should think about it also right we have been taught it for a reason but good thinking that my chief flight rules are changing don't use cancelling we will not use cancelling we'll say changing to ifr flight level 290 top of climb request climb to flight level 290 request climb clearance we don't say permission permission is not an rt approved word or phrase so we are going to avoid it request climb clearance or request clearance or request climb simple we could have said here but here you were asked to call at contact appropriate authority you said roger you could have said wilco but roger it's still a good acknowledgement and then call went to tower good thinking because you think you are in the vicinity good thinking but you gave the whole call here you should try to just raise the station and see if you are getting a response remember students if you have called the wrong atc calling the right atc just try to first raise the station don't give the entire call what if even that atc is wrong then you are wasting a lot of time i won't say wasting but unnecessarily the call will be going because they will not be assessing that call all right so otherwise good thinking again we'll not say cancelling vfr operations so changing to ifr request climb to flight we can say changing to ifr to chennai or to kolkata flight level 290 top of climb request climb to flight level 290 that climb call should be perfect so these little things are what are going to get your points how to request for level change how to report level change how to report turns how to report positions and why aspect should be more clear anyway what i'm saying here i could have started the call like this chennai control victor tango charlie correction uh, chennai control victor tango victor charlie whiskey over vishakhapatnam flight level 110 vfr nagpur to vishakhapatnam thereafter ifr to kolkata flight level 2980 top of climb 1455 request climb to flight level 290 radial 04 correction radial 054 05 dme outbound vishakhapatnam estimating larik palco kaket eta kolkata request climb simple call similar to what you have given i requested for climb then i gave my position report and then in the end i said request climb so i have my emphasis on what i want and how i'm thinking even though i am also struggling to keep up the pace because i'm thinking and doing the right thing but overall it sounds good and correct even if this much of effort we put we have to look at the chart and we have to write the call it gives us the best example and look at the question paper also so i didn't have to use cancelling there i would have not used it i would have simply said changing to ifr this and that request permission again permission is not going to be used go to next question and here uh, because of question mismatch we are not giving it so uh what do we do what do we do yeah assume sajil assume that you are your destination is chennai Okay. okay and now you are over guras okay now you uh, take this call and give a live call sir question three na ki chennai aerodrome is closed question is same your destination is changing to chennai You got it, uh, sir. Can you repeat the question? I am going to Gulas. Your destination. Your your paper is right in front of you. I hope you can see it now. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. The question is same. Your destination is changing to Chennai. 
Okay. Forget now question number one and two are done. We'll assess you differently. For question number three, assume one and two were also related to Chennai. Assume in your flight plan, we have changed destination aerodrome to Chennai only. So you are over Guras and you are going Chennai. Everything else is same. Aerodrome alternate is same. Departure is same. And the flight level change, Vizag is also uh, the same only. Vishakapatnam only. From there only, you are going VFR to IFR to Chennai. So only one flight plan change you will make and you will just give question number three with respect to destination Chennai. Okay. And my alternate is same, right? I just said the same. Okay. Yes, everything Thanks. is the same. So use RT phrases in times like this. Confirm, alternate, Vijayawada, like that. Instead of cross-questioning like that, use RT phrases. The examiners would be like it. Right, students? This is what okay. we are teaching you, right? In your daily life, also use RT. Chalo, quickly do it. Setting the timer to your last set minutes. Please focus on the rate of speech related feedback given. Maybe improvement should be seen in this call. Chennai Control Victor Tango Victor Charlie Whiskey over Guras Flight Level 290 Alpha 465 Time 1545 Wood like to divert to Vijaywada due closure of Chennai Aerodrome would like to fly direct to Odell on Whiskey 4 7 estimating Odell 1 5 5 5 ETA Vijaywada 1 6 1 0 Request clearance. Victor Tango, Victor Charlie Whiskey, Chennai Control. Cleared to Vijaywada Odell Flight Level 290 Report Reaching Thereafter Descent Flight Level 150 Cleared to Vijaywada Hotel Flight Level 290 will go thereafter will descend to Flight Level 150 Victor Tango Victor Charlie Whiskey. Go to next question. Okay, how was the experience, Sajal, overall? 
sir overall it was good but i was confused after seeing question 2 and 3 mm-hmm. like yeah yeah of course other than that yes sir it was good otherwise hmm what is pob do we use pob directly we should not use pob it's passenger oh, on board passenger on board in your third call i could see a lot of improvements very nice of you to take on the feedback rate of speech was excellent in your third call your third call was very good i liked how you constructed it i would have given a call differently so it would have not matched but everything has been said correctly so i like that here instead of clearance uh i wanted you to say request rerouting clearance or request uh, not rerouting of course here you could say um so with respect to that you have said correctly clearance but here we have to be more specific like you could say uh request deviation request deviation to uh vijaywada so here good effort on talking about why aspect of the call but uh, what you could have done in a better way i would say would be chennai control victor tango victor chali whisky over guras destination chennai is closed would like to deviate to vijaywada flight level 2980 over guras 70 dme inbound chennai request instructions to set course to vijaywada would like to join whisky 47 over odell there after flight level 150 request deviation clearance request deviation clearance doesn't sound that right otherwise even if you in the end say request clearance you might not lose much marks over there mm, here i thought it came a little late would like to divert to vijaywada correctly use divert due closure of chennai aerodrome i was hoping it would come first but yeah you get points for this would like to fly direct very nicely said that out i liked it and decent uh, read back instead of wilco will report reaching could be said you tried to use wilco here you will get points therefore will descend here a tricky read back not very clear sounds unsafe but probably the airspace is completely clear and we are keeping a watch out on you through radar so you have been cleared it so with respect to that then you think you have been given a little more freedom you just report reaching odell and reaching odell you start your descent also because they want you to quickly land probably the weather is going to get bad at vijaywada also so that's why the urgency in the call good read back given otherwise so i think this last call you easily get uh, anywhere between 14 16 at the least out of 20 which is a good score and here i liked your call with respect to this i just didn't like uh, that you didn't ask for top of climb and climb i was hoping a little more now that you are giving good calls here the rate of speech was not that great as great it was in question number 3 so it's beyond now it's repaired so we don't need to discuss that so here i okay you didn't call chennai control but you did try to call so you get good marks here you get uh, probably 11 or maybe 12 and the number 1 was good sector was not asked a little more challenging for you because you have experience that's why uh, a little too fast initially but otherwise the first call was good i can easily give 14 so with respect to this i think it's a good score 14 and let's say 11 from this side 25 and then we get take 14 29 39 is a very good score out of 60 now if we work on the mistakes we know that it's easy to get 80 85 90 and that's what we are aiming at so how do you feel about it sajid 
and said i could do much better we talk about this performance first now we are not done with this performance aage kya karna hai definitely we all have to do better than before to talk about this you could have done better so let's talk about that what are the mistakes and what do you think could have been done differently or will you do differently quick sir in first question mainly was the sector like asking sector radial duration flight level mhm and second mainly top of climb was missing top of climb requesting climb nothing much was missing that's why you're getting good question marks 65 is good only perfection is needed how we are speaking when is coming what and pob nothing else and that chennai control should have come to you carefully if you look at the chart it should have come to you it was not that difficult we need to expand our horizon that's why as a student be aware of the situation think of it as a pilot and of course here there was a confusion in the paper but examiner would have fixed that issue no problem they would have given you genuine marks sometimes this can happen with anyone so examiner ask you to do, ask you to do some modifications and you give a good call they will help you through part 2 that can happen so this this side we were trying to do that only so no issues so when such a last sir it is not relevant to my route that is not how we should say it i would suggest uh we should be a little gentle with them but sir i'm confused i didn't see any call where i'm diverting to chennai should i be assuming somewhere i have diverted to chennai or should i proceed to my destination because if you could help me i think i have missed something out let's see how it goes so we take it to us that i think i have missed something out can I confirm if i have diverted to chennai for any reason can you give me the reason why i diverted it could be a fuel emergency right so you'd stick to may day it could be medical emergency pan pan so we will be a little diplomatic in this situation chalo time for questions students are we there not there aisa kyu lag raha hai main pravachan de raha hu i have sometimes feel that when i don't get a response from the class i think that are you even there or not Vignesh, what's on your mind? Nukul, what's on your mind? Sir, uh, this is Victor Singh of Delta Alpha Sierra. Yes, please go ahead. Sir, so according to the question, it says uh, we are over at Opox. So, just can we assume that uh, the ATC has given us a, a deviation from our destination route, and uh, yeah, we, we could have the course that. Right. Yeah, yeah. we could have assumed it with respect to this paper that assumption would have been helpful yeah we could assume it it was tough here because it was a three question but uh, well done we can assume that yeah many a times sometimes we'll have to be a uh, careful about such things they do come some questions you will see so it will be subject to a lot of modifications done by the examiner not specifically given in the question paper so you have to get every question right to come to that point some of you all if you get such papers you should not panic you should sorry you should take it as a challenge said what's on your mind sir in second question of box sir here we can give sir fir report fir clearance report hmm. and sir in it has to be an fir on jopox if you are on jopox and if you are going from nagpur to chennai then definitely fir report i'm sure uh, sajal also thought about it first but because the destination is kolkata and we are sticking and we don't have explanations so confusion is bound to happen yeah carry on sir sir uh, v v z uh, sir i cannot pronounce it what is his name और सर हेयर वी कैन गिव क्या जगह प्रैक्टिस कर लो अभी एग्जाम में पूछेंगे सर 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 हेयर वी कैन से दैट कि चेंजिंग टू आई पार्ट वी एफ आर या हेयर ओनली यू हैव टू से वी एफ आर टू आई एफ आर राइट इट्स जुलु ना सर तो ओवर अपोक्स वी हैव टू गिव ओनली एफ आई आर रिपोर्ट या एफ आई रिपोर्ट so your present position will be lower flight level only in this case higher flight level vfr to ifr right 
So students, over Zappox, you will be flight level 2900. And if you're giving an FI report, if you come to that point, Kolkata Radio, copy Chennai Radio, FI report, Victor Tango, Victor Charlie Whiskey. And changing over to Chennai Radio then. Flight level 2900, because you have changed from VFI to IFI over Vizag. That is Vishakapatnam. Ritam, any more doubts? Are you feeling more prepared? What's happening? Uh, negative, negative doubts. Uh, I also got confused with the question paper. You know, I was, I was, I thought it's a wrong question, but uh, it's a good practice. Yeah, yeah, it has to be practiced. The difficult of the situation, if you practice in the exams, sometimes you might get the easiest of all papers. Make sure you don't do silly mistakes. Sarah, Sarah, Mike, go ahead. Uh, so here yeah, we could say that uh, it is a uh, request uh, rerouting for the second call, for the last call. Generally, I was also first saying rerouting, then I changed it because rerouting is to change a route, but going to the same destination. Here the destination has changed, so we need diversion. And it's an alternate, so we can say request uh, diversion to alternate. Also, we could have said in the end, the words are just coming to me. So instead of rerouting, I would say uh, something else only, like it's a new route you're setting. Uh, rerouting students will generally use when we are going to our same destination. And uh, we are just changing the route to avoid some problem in the earlier route. Sushita, is that clear? Yes, sir. And now we could also say request uh, deviation. Request like said, deviation, yeah, yeah. Request deviation, request diversion here. We could say diversion clearance. You could put so you should also put request diversion clearance. That could make sense. Instead of deviation, we can say diversion over here. Deviation we generally use with a standard deviation procedures. Request deviation or request weather deviation, we say. So that when we deviate from a route, but still our destination is same. Changing our destination, we can say diversion students. Think about it. Anything else on your mind? Romeo Sierra Kilo, how is it going on? Building up with every example. I'm so. Zulu November Whiskey, building up with every example. Of course, sir. Okay. Any more questions? Students, remember you need to practice. Okay. Revise thoroughly. Uh, probably today or tomorrow, I'll see I'm gathering. I will have to first check what all notes have been sent to you. If there's anything extra, I'll share. Whenever I do, uh, read the email. In the email, it would be instructed if you're required to read or are they extra. It'll take some time, a few hours. Once you get that, today or tomorrow, you'll be notified via email. Hyderabad, uh, sorry, uh, Delhi students, you make sure you study it with respect to that for part two from there. And you'll be ready, exam ready. Now, we will do more part one practice, okay, like tomorrow. And we will also do part two. Part two, viva is equally important. Now, when Pritam was giving me an answer with respect to something I was asking, he gave me an answer and he was quiet. And I was asking him again and again, again and again. And then he was continuing to answer. This is something you have to practice for your part to Viva. Main thing that when they ask you a question, give an answer in a way. That's it. You need to know the answer. You need to know the way to give the answer. The way to give the answer is very easy. Every question can be addressed in the same way. So you need to practice that. Your part to Viva is also very important. If you don't give part to Viva, you'll have to come back again and give part one and part two both. No issues you can give, but why not try to increase your chance? Victor, Victor Tango, Sierra, Sierra, Mike, do you have a question? Sir, I just wanted to add that uh, we should have mentioned uh, training flight because it is in the other information. Yeah, just waiting. Somebody will ask that. Um, Nobody is thinking about the cell call code. Now, 
because the call had to be made FIR report call, we could have mentioned our cell call code also in the FIR report students. Remember, whatever is there in your other information shall be included in our calls as and where applicable. So our focus was to just focus on VFR to IFR to change of rules that we didn't see it's a training flight or we didn't see there's a cell call code given or we didn't use it in our calls. But it's okay. Sometimes it's fine. We get a benefit of doubt. Students, remember whenever you have special handling, STS, like training flight requires special handling, you have to mention that at the end of your call, each call. Why? Because when you mention a training flight in the end of your call, you get extra importance and people are talking to you in a better way so that you don't do any miscommunication. So make a note of it. Okay. And Sajil, remember anything in the other information should be spe sh said, especially something like training flight. So not taking sector, not requesting climb in words and uh, not saying training flight are key errors with respect to not reading the flight plan or the chart properly. But it can be fixed because our main focus is to perform. We forget all that preparation we have done. But now we need a harmony of all these things. Students, are you following? Sajal, are you following? Affirm, sir. A tough thing, but overall good calls. Your third call was excellent. How did you do that? Very nice improvement. And your first two calls and the third call comparatively are day and night with each other how did how could you do that quick modification so for third call i made a rough call in my mind first that i'll fly direct to odal and then land over vijayawada it was well, a rough... yeah, yeah carry on carry on yes sir that's all no, no, yeah it's okay no? uh, uh, it was excellent you know and uh, your rerouting was good, like uh, not rerouting, your mid-air diversion and routing, I would say. It's not rerouting, it's your uh, routing, your own routing to go to destination was excellent. That was good. Uh, it could be more clear, more thorough with respect to more usage of words and more practice students, but you can always come up with your own ways. So if you give question number three after understanding the situation and having good experience, whenever you give the next call, it is better. So I'm hoping that everybody gets to practice. Let's see. You will let me know over messages if you need anything extra. Tomorrow, Zulu November, Victor will be doing a call with you. Uh, Delta Alpha Sierra will be doing a call with you. Probably Romeo Sierra Killer will be asked also. Sierra Juliet Lima will be asked also. Jutsna Nukul. Usaid, Usaid, tomorrow hoga kar. So you all be ready. Okay. Others enjoy the experience and uh, anything you need, keep texting, keep nudging, keep discussing your doubts, questions, whatever it is, whether they're discussed now or not, you know, eventually they're going to be discussed. So until then, keep studying, keep doing things, do everything in good faith and be very confident and highly confident about yourselves. Carry on with your part two. If you have not started studying part two, drop me a message directly, sir. My part two is left. I'll assign you a series of lectures. Start studying with those lectures. Okay. And once a couple of more days we have practiced good enough, Viva for part one, we can simultaneously check part two also. And everybody can be thorough. Okay. So I'll take your leave now. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon and study well. Tomorrow I'll see you and we'll start. With similar practices, tougher question papers. Um, probably you will get 20 minutes, probably 25 minutes, probably 15 minutes. So be ready. And all people today who have done and not done, February, you will definitely get a chance to practice. Non-February students, you might not be given a chance tomorrow. So you can stay relaxed. But you also be ready. Probably sir will surprise you with one call. So you also be ready with respect to that and see how it goes for you. Okay, so I'll take your leave, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Victor, thank you, God, for me, Papa. Mm, very nice. Good reply. Okay, Chalo, students, you can leave. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Most welcome, everyone. Thank you, sir.
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर मोस्ट वेलकम